Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. It's been a couple of weeks since I posted my last video. Fair warning, I have a little bit of the hiccups, so that might be make this video a little interesting. Uh, new subscriber to announce, um, Rob Duder. Rob, thank you for subscribing. Um, and welcome. I hope uh, you learn a thing or two here, or who knows, maybe in your comments you can teach some of us a thing or two. Who knows? But, like I said, welcome to the video. Anyways, pardon me. Uh, we've all been sick around here. I mentioned that, I think, in my last video. Um, and I, I just went down. I went down hard. Uh, constantly tired, felt fatigued, so, you know, um, didn't fill up much to doing anything other than showering and shaving, but I'm back, so anyways, so since it's been a bit, tonight, the razor's gonna be one that I don't think I've really went ahead and, um, done a shave with on camera with, um, before, and if I have, it's been a while, in fact, it's been a while since I used it, this one. Mercor 34C. Um, it was my second razor. It is still to this day one of my favorites. The blade in it is a Dollar General blade. This will be its third shave. The brush is, let me go ahead and dump it. It's been soaking. And it is this one. My Razor Rock 2 Band Finest Badger in the Barber Handle. The soap is one that I've had for a while. Um, never used it on camera. Figured what the heck. Let's do it. It's a good soap, but it's a little citronelly. Citra has a little bit of a citronella scent if you leave it if, once you open it, but after it's aired out a little bit, that smell mellows out and it smells really good. And it is. This one right here, Tim's Soap, Columbian River. Um, in case you're not familiar with Tim's, you cannot buy it anymore. He closed up shop back in late 2015 or early to mid 2016. I can't remember which. So that's what we're going to be using. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's get the brush loaded. Um, this Tim soap, it really makes a really nice lather. Um, nice, thick, creamy, rich lather. Um, right now, I got that proto lather pumping out of it. Shake it off. I've got lathers going all over the place. Um, that's a good load right there. Let's get my face right here. Place not one that. real quick. One second guys. Hmm. Hmm, got ladder falling off on my shirt. You know what? This is a little airy so I'm gonna load a little more here. But, um, yeah, last night we went ahead and ordered. My girlfriend ended up, you know, early Valentine's gift. Um, should be here soon. Um, next video, 
my plan is my challenge fat boy versus super speed challenge um, figure the next video is going to be oh yeah that's better um, fat boy on settings one two three versus the blue tip and uh oh yeah that's better in the brush i just ordered it last night um i was wanted to get one of those yaki brushes because of the good price um and i've been wanting a tuxedo brush for a while and uh i noticed on the yaki way on the Alibaba Express site. They were saying that. Hmm? Hang on, guys. I'm getting soap all over the place here. Um, you know, some yaki brushes for a pretty good price. And I was thinking, man, or yaki brushes with tuxedo knots for a really good price. So I thought, man, you can go ahead and get one of those. And I noticed that the brushes, the size of the knots on the tuxedos ran tw up between 24 up to 30 and man I got soap all over myself and uh as far as I know, tuxedos from AP Shave Co. only come in 24 and 30 millimeter. So I thought, you know what? I want a true AP Shave Co. tuxedo knot. Not one that they say is a tux, and it turns out not being a tux. So I went ahead and I went straight to the AP Shape Co. site itself, Daryl Nessie, and ordered <laughs> a. Uh, called the ruby red red ruby ripple handle with a 24 millimeter AP shave coat tuxedo knot so I'm looking forward to that so that's going to be in the next shave is that brush so as soon as I get it I'll be doing a video on it Alright, first pass with the grain, Mercur 34C. Oh yeah. Uh, go about three and a half days growth. Days growth and this Dollar General blade and here in the 34C is just taking it right down. guys but uh yeah it's Merker you know, I've been using so many other razors so a 
the light. Well, one guy, second guy. But, uh, you know, I got one of those, like, haven't used my core in a while. No. Uh, <laughs> it's not because I haven't wanted to. It's an awesome razor. It's just. I know. Uh, <laughs> kind of. In rotating through others. Right there is some good residual slickness. As you saw, I just went ahead and touched up a few spots that had no lather on them. Alright, time to lather up for past two. I'm to dry my hands here. Up, oh, let me get a sip. Uh, drink water out of my sippy cup. Uh, video by Carl Keeper. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about you, Carl. But uh, um, where it was a dedication shade, kind of. Um, yeah. Dedicated the shave to a couple of co-workers of his who aren't wet shavers, but they thought he is They thought it was interesting, so I guess they subscribed and, um, He was using Williams mug soap got a really good shave off of it now I don't know what, is, what your trick is, Carl, but um, I could never, ever get decent lather off of Williams. Um, I got one once, a really nice, just a beautiful, beautiful lather off at once. But that was it. So, I mean, I soaked it for, let it bloom for like 30 minutes, used a stiff brush, and just kept loading and loading and loading and loading, and going across the grain. And I just. I just never, ever, ever could get it. I mean, so whatever your trick is, Carl, maybe you could do a, I don't know, maybe a tutorial on 
how you're able to get a decent lather at Williams Mug Soap because I uh, I can't. I just can't. Yeah, this old 34C. Just uh, beautiful, beautiful all around. Great shaving razor. I went ahead when I got it. I just, you know, I only had at the time the MicroTouch 1 which is just basically If you look at it, it's pretty much the same damn thing as a. Mm. Fender Oven Razor. No. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to go careful right here. I got a little pimple. Uh, I, I think before the night's out, before the shave's out, I'm going to draw blood. Anyway, I'm going to rinse off and come back to part three. Oh, yeah. Um, real quick, uh, I want to go ahead and show you a clip of my dog, my guide dog, Herbie. Who I've mentioned in, in my videos before. Anyways, here's Herbie. Hey guys, anyways, this here big fella right here, this is Herbie. This is my guide dog, the fella I've been telling you about with the sprained knee. Anyways, um, yeah, him and I, we've been partners for a number of years now. Down, buddy. Anyways, so that's my guide, Herbie. Um, he's not just a dog, he's part of the family. Anyways, um, see y'all in a minute back on the video. Yeah, but that there, that's my buddy. Him and I have been partners for a while. Since 2009. Um, he, uh, got taken back in next week. And, uh, so the vet can go ahead and check him out. See how his back left knee is doing. See how that sprain is going. But anyways, um... Yeah, I want to be able to hook him up to a harness and cruise on down the road again with him. But anyways, um, all I say about the Vander Egg, um, that in the, oh, past three, I ain't got to put a big old heavy leather. It's just pretty much, they're just both, the Vander Hagen and, uh, Micro Touch One. I think they're just both a rebranded Wishy. Could be wrong, but I've heard too many people look at them and say, "Yeah, it's a you know, it's a little Wishy." It's just not bad razor, don't get me wrong. I don't mind it at all. Um, I still get pretty decent shaves off the whole micro touch one. But yeah, when I got this here Merker, you know, I wanted to step up my game a little bit. And I was like, um, which way do I go? I looked at Parker's and I thought, oh, not bad. I looked 
it. Maggart razors. Oh, nice. Look at Razor Rock razors. Looked at a few different brands. Edwin Jagger and this. Especially the Edwin Jaggers and the Merkers because, well, uh, pretty much, I always heard everybody saying, if you're a beginner, go with the Edwin Jagger or go with the Merker 34C. And, uh, I ended up settling on the 34C because it's uh, already had a twist open. So, kind of steered clear of the Parkers. But, uh, The Edwin Jagger and Merker are so I was paying close attention to the two of them. So it was really just more of a coin toss. You know, do I get the 34 or do I get the Edwin Jagger? And eventually it was like, screw it, I have to go with the Merker. So. To be honest, YouTube had a little bit to do with that too. Because If you're a familiar, hmm, got to put a little bit more lather. If you're familiar with Nick Shaves or Shave Busta, then you uh, you know that they're really into these 34 C's. And, uh, to be honest, I really did not see. There's many videos with the Edwin Jagger as I did the 34C. So but, I still want to need an Edwin Jagger DE89, but, those are, going to have to wait, because, well, 
All right, uh, let me rinse off here. Go. I'm back into a little cleanup on my chin. Anyway, so. Um, oh, by the way, in case I haven't noted, I haven't mentioned it, I don't think I have. This soap was a gift to me. Well, he really didn't like the scent. I don't mind it. Uh, I don't mind a citronelli scent, citronella type scent. Um, the soap comes from my friend Christian out in Hesperia. So there you go, Christian. You're famous. Um, but uh, seriously, um, yeah, I. Uh, Well, like I said, I, I didn't see as many videos with people plugging the Edwin Jagger. So. I, uh. Can screw it? Go with the 34C? Besides, I like. I liked the sound of the two-piece design. And I really do like the two-piece design. It's a really, really cool designed razor. Uh, spin knob on the bottom. And take it apart. Been seeing a couple of, well, mostly Ken piercing and shaving. Um, he was using the Razor Rock Mamba stainless steel razor, and he's not a big fan of it. Now that's cool and all because I just really, really dig it. Um, which is cool for me because that means I don't have to sell it. No, I wouldn't sell it. I'd just wrap it up and put it away for my son. Or when he got older. Anyway, so... Yeah, I don't do alum anymore. My face hasn't been breaking out real bad nature down here like it was when I was using alum every time I shaved. So I just do it here and there. If it feels so, I'm just going to do it if it's a rough shave. Um, the shave was not rough. It was a very smooth, very nice shave. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut away, rinse off, and then I'll be back for the post after I shaved my head. See you on a minute. That, folks, was a wonderful shave. 34C and Dollar General Blade. Got me BBS. I uh, kind of avoided buffing here because up here, I didn't do any buffing because I didn't want to risk taking the head off that pimple. Um, but yeah, the rest of my face, great, neck, nice, um, my head, it's good, it's good, all the way around, um, oh, two little spots right there, I'll get them in a minute, in fact, I'll get them now, and we rinse this off. But, uh, yeah, other than those two little spots, it's good. Um, no trouble. The soap, Tim Soap, um, Colombian River, like I said, it's got kind of that citronella scent. 
but I just leave the lid off, let it air out, and that takes care of that problem. Um, did great, great lather. It was kind of, you know, frothy at the beginning of it, but, you know, it quickly mellowed out and, and turned into a really good, really good load on the brush. Um, Two Bam Finest Badger from Razor Rock, wonderful job. Uh, you know, uh, the brush is a little scritchy when you first get it. Um, not a little, well, it's not majorly, but it is scritchy when you first get it. But as you use it, the more you use it, those tips start softening up and they're starting to break in nice. Um, But yeah, so everything about the shape was great. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the post. Anyways, but you know, um, I hope if y'all, if any of you out there got hit by this flu, I hope that you got over it quick, quickly. A um, little bit of a tingle. Or if you're in the midst of it, I hope you get through it soon. Um, because it, it just sucks. My kid, he's still got a little bit of a cough here and there, but rarely, rarely does he cough. Um, my girlfriend, she's coming down with something again, so. <laughs> Error. Mare go round and round. Um, and for the life of me, I can't remember who sang that. Um, Nivea for sensitive skin. Post shape balm. Don't need much. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to that AP Shade Cold Brush. Looking forward to the Fat Boy versus Super Speed Challenge coming up. So that ought to be interesting. I know that Johnny, which is who I got the Fat Boy, and got the blue tip and red tips from. I know. Pardon me, guys. But Johnny was telling me she early on when I got this box of razors that he was kind of looking forward to you know seeing that challenge because a 56 red tip I got from him he didn't even he didn't even get a chance to shave with it you know he never got to it before he sent out the razors so I got coming up man I got coming up Johnny so um aftershave is the generic brute green the Dollar General Body Aftershave Splash, I guess they call it. A little bit. Oh. Yeah, they got some pretty decent brushes over there on AP Shave Go. Um, I'm interested in a couple of them. Um, I'm interested pretty pretty much in all of them, um, especially that. I'm really interested in that that um, what do you call it? Um, faux horse hair, they call it. Mm, that was great. That smells great. Anyways, guys, that's the shave. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm happy to be back with you all. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll get another video out here. Um, definitely before two weeks go by. Anyways, uh, everybody stay warm, stay healthy, uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Once again, welcome Rob Duder. Um, you know, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Any questions, um, whatever they might be.
might be, you can contact me at justlance59 at gmail.com, all lowercase. Anyways, I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.